Here's the result from the first week's challenge, 66 books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First and second Samuel, first and second Kings, first and second Chronicles. Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Salmos, Proverbios, Ecclesiastes, Cantar de los Cantares, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonas, Miqueas, Nahum, Abacub, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, and Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Ephesians, Galatians, Philippians, <coughs> Primera y segunda de Corintios, Gálatas, Efesios, Filipinos, Colossians, First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Timothy, Tito, Filemón, Hebreos, Santiago, First and Second Peter, First and Second Third John, Jude, Apocalipsis. <laughs> This week I won the challenge. Thank you for hanging out with us in week number one, where we memorize the 66 books of the Bible. And now in lesson number two, devotional number two, the Bible verse is Romans 3.23. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The lesson here is about sneaky sin. And the story is a kid that gets a bad grade on his test and has the, has the dilemma of lying to his parents. He goes through the story and ultimately is honest and confesses that he got a bad grade and goes through the process of reconciliation. This week's lesson is for us to recognize how sin can enter our lives, and then share those ideas so that we can make sure that we prevent it from happening. There's two bonus questions in here. Number one is for the kids, and they say, how can you think of examples where sin is sneaky? So one way that I think that sin could be sneaky is it'll seem like it is very good, but really it is bad. And the second one is for the parents. And the kids ask, what sin did you struggle with when you were my age? One thing I did as a kid was lying to my parents to not get in trouble. But when they found out the truth, I was in even more trouble. So one of the sins I struggled with when I was a kid is I borrowed some money from my sister that I knew where she kept it. And I used it to buy some things for a Valentine's present that I probably shouldn't have. And so... Uh, I learned a lesson as a kid that if it's not mine, I can't take it. The Bible can help us recognize sin and fight it because it is filled with God's instructions. Read and discuss these Bible verses. If you do what is right, won't you be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Genesis 4-7 no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to humanity. God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But temptation, he will also provide a way to escape so you are able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 God is called our Heavenly Father. <laughs> and like, any, and like a, any good parent, he knows what is best for his children. Uncovering sin and saying no to it always makes him happy. This week, everyone think at least one way to recognize sin and keep it from sneaking into our, your life. Then get together and share your ideas. If you like these uh, weekly devotionals and you like our content, please subscribe to at Shep Fam on Facebook, Instagram, on YouTube, click the like button and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in. Kayla, one more time, one more time. But no laughing, no laughing. Okay, I like, like. <laughs> hey, hey, stop it. No laughing, okay? Kirk, you have this. Okay, okay.